pick you out another cycle. I just tell everyone try to stay out of measuring over here because that's where all your numbers pop up. So you want to kind of be out of that area. So if you need to adjust that, you'll use your left upper box. Okay, so hit delete last. There you go. You want to tell it where you're starting again. So you want to go IBSD. Oops. It's okay. Just remember exactly. So when you're doing that, if you need to make adjustments, yes, you'd make them from up there. So all I would do is move your line over a little bit to where it's in the divots. Exactly. That's exactly what you do. You want to go to the top of that wall, though. Top of the wall. Oh, I do. Hit yeah, that so you'll leave that set there. Now you use the other screen. Yes, you'll touch and drag that. And just don't take your finger off until you're done with your measurement. Exactly. Now you'll touch and drag again. It's already oh, in its next. Right. Yeah. You'll pull that down into your little valley there. Exactly. Okay. Now you'll touch and drag down to the white line. There you go. So IBSS. This one? Correct. Don't. Oh, so I'm not taking a yeah, picture Yeah, so you remember, if you do, you're okay. If your creature have it on that, it's more than okay. You're not doing anything wrong. It's just not required. Okay, there you go. And you want to line that one up over your two humps. If you need to make adjustment on that, yes, you make it from there. Exactly. Now you can hit number one. And you can see we're still within a few percentage of our first measurement. So on the EF, if you're at 60%, what you don't want is when you do your next measurement, it drop 40. Okay. okay. So you don't want greater than a 10% gradient. Okay. So you don't, you don't want to go from 60 to 40 or from 60 to 80. Okay. You kind of know your, your calipers are kind of off in that area. So generally when you have your first measurement, that's kind of the number you need to be hovering around. And if it's off greater than 10%, you know, you kind of have your calipers not well adjusted. Okay. adjustments to move it to the that right That looks left. actually pretty good, so, except yeah, to march want, to the right. Exactly. You want to kind of move it into your little valleys because it just kind of helps uh, make your measurements a little more precise there. Exactly. Oops. So if I wanted to get rid of that, I, All my you finger. have to do is delete last and you just start right back over. You just tell it where you want to go. Okay, hold on just for a second. All we do is barely bump our package here, so I think all we have to do is just hit down medium and then. Okay, so we want to start uh, exactly. You can touch and drag from there. It should be able to pull you in. Oh, wait a minute. It kicked you out of your protocol yep. there. Delete glass? Yeah, delete glass. And then you're just going to have to tell it where you want to go again. There you go. Perfect. 
and you can see it keeps us within our gradient there too with our percentage. Okay, that's a great job. All right, so what we're going to learn, our last part here is going to be our LIAO measurement, which will be the end of our measurement. Now, remember when you're doing it, it's either or on your M mode or your anatomical mushroom. So if we have a good M mode like this, we'd measure our M mode, then we go straight into our LAAO measurement. You don't have to do anatomicals, M modes, LAAO, okay? So for this one, it's either or, either anatomicals or the M mode, then move on to your next measurements. If you've done all three together, that's okay. I mean, it's just more information. It's not required, but if you've done all three sets, more than okay to do. So from here, we're gonna close. Again, we're gonna access our file folder. We're going to use our right hover key. We're going to go over now to our LAAO view or fifth chamber view. Okay. So again, we want to pick an image that says raw so we can work with. You guys done a great job on your LAAO views. Okay, so we're going to kind of work in this area. Once you pick one, we're going to touch the top screen again. And what I'd like to do here, I just darken some stuff up here, okay? So again, you can use your TGC even to kind of darken stuff up a little bit for you here, just so you can kind of see your circles. Now you can kind of pull back through this image to see if you find your circles a little more concentric. Okay. And I move it to diastole. Okay, so you want to move it to where your circles are dilated the most. Okay, so that's the, the field we'll stick with on doing our measurements. On this, we will do the Swedish method, method which is our line's going to come down through an angle through both our chambers here. Okay, so what we're going to do is hit our red ruler. Now you're going to hit the button here that says LAAO. Okay, we're going to go to aortic root. We're going to go enter to enter on our middle circle here. So we want to go to the inner edge. We're going to drag that down onto the inside of our next. Okay, now you'll hit the button that says LA. You want to put that caliper up next to the other one. Make your adjustment from over here. Those calipers kind of kiss in the middle there. Then you touch and drag down to the wall. So are you kind of going to the middle of the wall between? This one right here? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Because remember, on an on a off angle, you can make this pseudo thick. Okay, so it's not actually a measurement separating the caliper out. You just want to try to meet it in the middle with your calipers. Sometimes that line will be super thin, okay, which means you probably have it on a proper angle. Sometimes it's a little bit thicker there. But if, if it's thick, do you measure to the in, inside of the wall and then inside of the wall? Correct, yeah. So that you're measuring kind of the lumen. The lumen, okay. yes, kind of splitting the difference there. But here's what your cardiologist and, and your veterinarians or techs are scanning this too. It's like I kind of said, two circles in, that look the same are normal. Okay, mm -hmm. so in other words, that we want a one-to-one -one ratio here, no matter what the sizes are. If it's three and three, that's still a one-to-one, -one, okay? What we don't want is one circle in the middle and then one circle like this, mm -hmm. which we know we have atrial enlargement or vice versa. Okay, so it's essentially a one-to-one -one ratio, no matter what the the numbers are as far as the diameter. So in this case there is mild left atrial Not No, greater than 1.5 is starts going from mild to moderate to severe. So the higher the ratio, the more severe the disease. There's some cardiologists at 1.5 may not call it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so remember sometimes mild may not go into the clinical picture. Okay, They're real good at looking this like we just talked about subjectively. Because if they see two circles that look about normal, but your ratio is abnormal, they're going to tell you you over-measured your HRM probably or under-measured your root, one or the other. So they're real good about picking that out. So we just want to kind of stay within that one-to-one -one ratio. On certain patients, usually larger canine, some others, you remember there's a part of the atrium, it's called the oracle. Mm -hmm. God's perfect design to help for the over-volume in the heart for the outpouching. The oracle forms a little black V shape kind of down in here versus your chamber wall. So if we have one today, in other words, you wouldn't pull your measurement all the way down into the oracle itself, okay? You find the bottom wall of your atrium and you just kind of follow that around before the oracle starts. It looks like it's probably starting out in that section here. 
So we always want to kind of stop short of the oracle. Some patients that you're going to have, you're going to see it real pronounced. Just kind of be careful not pulling too far down in that region. Okay. And then all we have to do is kind of repeat that. Um, just kind of move our calipers back in or out to kind of grab our circles back. Okay, we'll repeat that.